folks, welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. This time we've got the first figure from and or in the vintage collection. Um, yeah, really, really stoked with this one. I literally just picked him up today. Um, I've, I've picked him up in the shop a couple of times. Um, and, you know, just because I'm trying to space out my figure buys at the moment, I was just like, yeah, he's my next one. And I told myself last week, I'm like, yeah, I'm picking up Cassian next. Um, See, at the time of recording this, uh, yeah, he's he's brand new in my collection today, and boy, am I glad I got this one because he is uh, he is a really really good figure. Um, I'm a big fan of the show, the series. I'm looking forward to doing a. I'm going to do a big rewatch. I've got a week's holidays coming up um, in about three weeks, I think. So yeah, really looking forward to uh, having a, a good Andor binge. Um, you know, I've sort of watched an episode or two sort of here and there since um but yeah really want to just sort of sit down and take a deep dive into Andor and, and have a good binge of that season so here's VC261 um yeah just reviewed Luke, Cal, uh, Artillery Stormtrooper I still need to pick up Vel, Sartre I still need to pick up I'm not gonna worry about the Clatoonian Raider because I got him with the ATST um, but yeah, great to see him out. If he does go on like a clearance or something, I might pick him up and have him with the ATSC Raider and just sort of mix his accessories up and display him a bit different. And again, Vader, Obi-Wan, I have reviewed in the past. Um, would have been sort of, you know, a few months back now, so not far to scroll back through my channel to find those two reviews. But yeah, really nice card. Um, yeah, fantastic looking figure. Did just watch uh, Daniel East 1000 and... Uh, Sith Lord 229 do a bit of a review on the 6 inch Cassian uh, that came in with the B2 Emo B2 EMO um, and yeah it's it's a great looking figure but I don't know from, from what I've seen of the Black Series reviews I feel like this one's a little bit nicer that just could be me I'll we'll wait until I've got that 6 inch one in hand because um, yeah the single release hasn't become available and eBay prices for the other set, given that it was a Pulse exclusive, um, is way too high for what it is. So I'm just going to try and get him on the stand there. No, forget it. <laughs> so we're going to get a look at him here. You know, lo love the jacket, love the outfit. It's very Star Wars. Um, looks good. Got the hood there. The, the sculpt of the head looks fantastic. Sort of great likeness to Diego Luna. Sort of a little bit more of a shabby looking beard. There's bound to be other versions released as well. Love the sort of gold accentuated on the belt buckle there that's sort of got a bit of a shine to it and all the little clips. He's got his little tool kit on the side there which is great. We're riding on the inside there, Hasbro China. Looks from Limited. Whoop de doo. <laughs> but yeah, love the sort of the blue and the green there on the shirt. And these sort of big tabs on the top here. It's sort of very much a Star Wars outfit. The pants and the boots looks good, nicely painted, nicely sculpted. Here is his one one accessory is his blaster. It will fit in his hand nicely. But yeah, really really nice looking figure. Definitely that sort of gritty aesthetic that Andor has, you know, relates directly to, you know, Rogue One and, you know, that sort of lived-in universe and, and, you know, this this outfit sort of definitely comes into that. Um, definitely hoping for some more characters. Obviously, Velsartha, we've got a few others on the way in the vintage collection uh, from memory. Loving, loving the TVC at the moment. You know, it's just it's small enough that I can display it with what little room I have at the moment. So, 
you can get a few figures, you know, I've got a, everything's in storage, but, um, you know, I've got a good tub of figures here that are sort of, you know, what I'm into at the moment, like I've got my Bad Batch and some Mando stuff, so it's, it's all good, and looking forward to having a bit of a play around as well as getting some of the newer figures as they come out, so... I will probably pick up Vel Sartha next week or the week after to go side by side with with Cassian here. That's just a really, really good likeness. I, I'm <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting him out and taking some photos of him just you know patrolling around. It's just the colours, man, you know, like the, the maroons and the, the sort of earthy tones, but inside are sort of, you know, blues and greens and I don't know, I don't know what it is, but yeah, really nice. I dare say we'll see some different Cassians come out. I'd love to see a re-release of the Rogue One. Um, Cassian and Jin from Vintage Collection with the little bit better paint updates. Um... Even though the gin didn't really move too much, they sort of overpacked that figure. But um, but yeah, love to hear thoughts on this one. Love to hear thoughts on Andor as a series. Um, I think definitely season two is is happening. I believe they start filming next month or this month, the February this year. Um, and yeah, sounds like it's going to be a lot of lot of Yavin involved. So it's going to be going to be very interesting. Looking forward to seeing how that goes. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone, I do appreciate your time, and if you leave a comment I do appreciate you taking that extra little bit of time to, to write and say hello, so I'll see you on the next video, until then, may the force be with you, always.